So this is a combi boiler. This is an Idol Vogue Max, uh, 40 kilowatt. Um, it's sort of designed for one or two bathrooms. Um, ideally just one. Uh, combis aren't really recommended for anything that's sort of above, you know, uh, one bathroom if you're having two showers at the same time, things like that. Eventually they're not gonna be great um, on heating up too much hot water, but this one is pretty good. Anyway, let's move on to here. So if you can see the dial at the bottom, that controls your hot water, so the temperature of your hot water on this particular boiler. On the top, this controls the temperature of the water that's in the actual pipes, so for your radiators, uh, things like that. So if you look on there, that has a radiator symbol on it, and the one below has a tap symbol on it. Okay, so that's that, it's pretty simple. That's a pressure gauge, so when you top the boiler up, underneath the boiler, you've got a, pressure, um, a couple of pressure valves, you can top the boiler up. It's got like a little indent. I don't know if you can see inside of the pressure a gauge which tells you what you should top it up to if it's cold. So anywhere sort of between one bar and 1.5 bar is decent. Anyway, and let me run through what we've got here. So, so these are the receivers here for the Nest thermostats. This uh, thermostat, if you start with the upstairs one, will send a signal to the upstairs receiver, which is on the wall here, which will then open up the motorized valve, the one that says upstairs, heating, which will then send a signal to the boiler to tell the boiler to turn on. So it's those two valves there separate upstairs and downstairs heating, so you don't have to heat up your whole house. If you want to just heat up downstairs, you can. Then we've got a, uh, a fuse spur there for the boiler to turn that on and off, and then the wiring center at the top there. Okay, and this bad boy right here is an air and dirt separator. So the air goes up through the top, which is basically you know, a large uh, automatic air vent, and the dirt goes through the bottom. So that's like a magnetic filter. Uh, you pull that off, release it, and it comes out the bottom. So they usually have that every time you get your boiler serviced. Okay, moving on. So this is a shocker restart. This will prevent water hammer within your water system. This is an inline scale reducer. So the idea is it's meant to reduce the scale within your hot water system. This is a magnetic filter, so it pulls all the oxidized rust towards it. So when you service the boiler, you can empty it out. This is a ton dish, so it's a non-return valve, so nothing else can come backwards. So that's for your pressure release valve. And moving on to the benchmark. So this is where we put our paperwork and the benchmark uh, for the boiler. So this is an expansion vessel. We put an extra one on anytime we've got any underfloor heating within the system or if it's a slightly larger system we'll put one in uh, this over here to the left hand side is a underfloor heating pump um, over here so that is for the underfloor heating the manifold that's connected to and moving on this is the underfloor heating so on the ground floor we've got underfloor heating underneath this engineered flooring as you can see from the camera i've got just shows the heat spots and that is it that's a wrap um all the explaining over and done with i've tried my best oh and that's a water softener as well down there <laughs> have a good one